what the black man and woman needs to know about the nation, about the world, about themselves. Mohammed Speaks It. To order your 12-issue subscription to Mohammed Speaks newspaper, 313-371-7033. 313-371-7033. Green Bean Pie is the grand champion of all bean pies. The rich flavor and smooth texture takes this pie to a whole new level of delicious. One bite and you'll understand why people all over the country call daily to order Green Bean Pie. 313-371-7033. That's 313-371-7033. Kareem Bean Pie. Muhammad Speaks presents Messenger Elijah Muhammad's Teachings by Minister Khalil Shabazz every Sunday from 2 to 3 p.m. at Muhammad's Temple of Islam, 12609 East McNichols Road in Detroit. Brothers and sisters, rise prayer. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, all praises due to Allah, the Lord of the Worlds, the Beneficent, the Merciful, Soul Master's Day of Judgment in which we now live. The alone do we serve, and the alone seek for thine help and aid. O oh Allah, please guide us on the right path. Path of those upon whom thou stole thy favors, not on the path of those upon whom thy wrath is brought down, nor those who go astray if they heard thy teachings. Say he Allah is one God. Allah is he of whom nothing is independent, but upon whom we all depend. He beget us not, nor is he begotten, there is none like him. And I bear witness that none is heard to be served worse to praise besides Allah who came in the person of Master Farah Muhammad, and I bear witness that the honor of Elijah Muhammad is our true servant and last apostle. I mean, we'd like to acknowledge the brothers and sisters that extended us the greetings of as alaikum. We have Brother Muta Kabir Ali from New Jersey. We have Brother Mustafa and Sister Sharice Ali from Ohio. We have Brother Rahman and Brother Dewan Rafi. We have Brother Abdul Ali from Tampa. We have Brother Ibrahim Muhammad from Tampa. We have Brother Abdul Hassan from Virginia. We have Brother Calvin Shabazz from Atlanta. We have Brother Benjamin from Ghana. And we have Brother Wali Muhammad from New Orleans. And I'd like to say in the name of Allah who came in the person of Master Farah Muhammad, and the name is last and greatest Master and most honorable Elijah Muhammad, I'd like to greet the brothers and sisters with the nation of Islam, greeting words, peace of Allah, alaykum. Today, we like to talk about the stone that the builders rejected and the coronavirus. We like to talk about today. First, we got to start with the devil. The messenger taught us that in the serpent, it says that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. Revelations 12 and 9 is a person or persons whose character characteristics are like that of a serpent or a snake. Serpents or snakes of the grafted type cannot be trusted, for they will strike you when you are not expecting a strike. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. That's the white race. Yes. They are a snake yes. and a serpent because they strike you when you're not ready or expecting to be striked. That's a snake of the grafted type. That's the white race. Because when we look at this disease that they got for us, the, the coronavirus, now they talking about that Detroit, I guess they say Detroit, the pandemic's supposed to get worse next week, he said. Now, the black man gets confused when they see a few white people dying. They don't recognize that the thing is totally against you. Because if the white man allow a few white people to die, and black people will say, oh, it's white people, it's rich, it's poor, it's black people, it's everybody. But when I was in the military one time, this devil told me, he said, you sacrifice many to save a few. And he said it straight up because in the in the civilian world we used to them saying sacrifice a few to save many. He ain't say that. He said sacrifice many, save a few. And he said it like to hell with them. Sacrifice many to save a few. That was their motto. 
If you can save two people and kill a million, sacrifice a million to save a few. It's depending on who those few are. Yes, sir. If the few are important to the white man, he will sacrifice millions of people for two people. Yes. That's his motto. Yes, sir. So when we see a few white people dying, that don't mean that this whole pandemic ain't against the black man. Right. Because the white man is a snake. Right. Oh, praise the due to Allah. Right. He strike the black man when the black man don't expect him to strike. Yes, sir. Because we have also, they had what was called the uh, Tuskegee syphilis experiment. Yes. Now when you see these devils going into, this is a church. This devil knew that they was giving the black man syphilis. You got sisters, they family sitting in the crowd, they children. The devil can look them in the face, see your children, see your wife, still give you syphilis and don't even care. Right. No, he's giving you syphilis. Because it says in this article, it says of all the breaches of medical ethics in history, it's hard to think of one more heinous than the Tuskegee syphilis study of untreated syphilis in the Negro male, which was conducted by the U.S. Public Health service working with Tuskegee Institute. Yep. Now the Tuskegee Institute was the historically black college. That's right. That was the Tuskegee Institute. Yes, sir. Because one thing about a snake, when you're talking about the white man, he always play on those who love and trust. Him. Yes, sir. Because those of us who Muslims and believe the white man the devil, we don't trust the devil at all. Right. All praise is due to Allah. I remember one time I went to the doctor. I was having acid reflux. So I couldn't find nobody doctor but this devil doctor. So he told me it was acid reflux and he told me what to take. I didn't believe. So I went around and found me a black doctor. And I told him my symptoms. He said, did you ever go to a doctor for this? I said, yeah, he told me to take whatever he told me. He was like, yeah, because you got acid reflux. Like, oh, still didn't trust the devil. Still don't trust him. But I'm like, oh, he told the truth this time. Still don't trust the devil. He told me the right thing, but I didn't believe him. I thought it was something else. So I went to another doctor that I thought I trust, and he told me that the devil was telling me the truth. Still don't trust the devil. He a snake. He a liar. So the white man used the black people at Tuskegee Institute to actually help them in this Tuskegee experiment. Mm -hmm. It says from 1932 to 1972, researchers initially recruited 600 men, including 300 who tested positive of syphilis. This sexually transmitted bacteria disease can occur over decades and cause paralysis, blindness, dementia, and damage to the brain, heart, bones, and other organs, and even death. That's all that syphilis do to you. The white man coming to black people who ain't got no problems at all, telling them you got bad blood and giving them free medical treatment to give them something that's doing all that to you. Yes, right. So it says researchers didn't tell the infected men that they had the disease or that the purpose of the study was to document how the disease destroyed their bodies. The men were only told that they would receive free medical care for bad blood a vague term that did not imply a specific medical condition. And even when penicillin, an effective treatment for syphilis, became available in 1947, the research didn't offer it to them. Between 28 and 100 of the participants died from syphilis, which I don't believe. Probably way more than that. It was 600 people, so they're going to tell you between 28 and 100. It says, but the death toll may have been higher since they may have infected others unknowingly. In the mid-1960s, Pete Buxton, a government social worker, came across an internal government reports of the study and posted the higher-ups that and protested the higher-ups that it was unethical. After several years of inaction, he handed over proof of the study's existence to a friend at the Associated Press. The, result, the resulting outcry forced PHS, which is the Public Health Service, to shut down the study in 1972. 
So they used to write it in magazines, the health magazines, talking about the Tuskegee syphilis experiment. It wasn't like it was a secret among white doctors. They knew exactly what they was doing. All these other doctors didn't care. It's just this one devil, they say. We don't know what happened with him and why he wanted to tell on these other doctors. Because yes, could they could have made him mad and let, didn't let him a part of it, and now he want to blow the whistle. Yes, but he was the one who, in 1966, they say, who, who was, uh, came out with it and told them it was unethical. And it still took them six more years to even put it out in the newspaper. Yes, so these devils, when you look at the picture, this picture right here is showing a little young brother. This brother looked like he in his teens, like 18 and 19 years old. But the devil is giving him, the white devil, the woman, is giving him the shot. And they got a line. If you see the whole picture, it's a line of brothers. Yes, that they just infect him with this. And they just looking at him, knowingly giving it to him and don't even care. Yes, That's the white man. Right. Yes. Then we can go even further. This one takes place in St. Louis. And this one was called Operation Lat. And Operation LAC, or the Large Area Coverage, was a test by the U.S. military in the 1950s and 60s to dust U.S. cities with a potentially toxic fine powder to test the, the dispersion of germs. One scientist believed one of these tests, specifically over St. Louis, could have included radioactive material. So this lady who did the investigation her name was professor uh martino uh taylor this is a picture of the devils on top of a school it says the people of st louis were told that the army was testing smoke screens to protect cities from a russian attack a canister is put positions on top of a school in this photo so these devils this school name was clinton clinton school they on top of the school with children, putting this thing, what they were saying causes uh, lung problems. And they said that they was doing this for decades, all day long, just letting this stuff just float in the air. Young children on top of the school. It's the devil. The people don't even expect that. They say, oh, because, you know, we trying to test smoke screens so for a Russian attack. And they attacking you. That's a snake. Right. Striking you when you don't expect them yes. to strike. That's the white man. Then you got another picture of an apartment building. An apartment building was named uh, uh, Pruitt Igo. It says in her research, she found that the greatest concentration of spring in St. Louis was at uh, Pruitt Igo Public Housing Complex, which was home of 10,000 low-income residents. She said that 70% of those residents were children under the age of 12. 70%. So they putting it on top of a school already. Then they putting it on top of where you come home to live. Yes, Sleeping and eating all day. So all day long you breathing in these toxic fumes that's destroying your lungs. Yes, Just so the devil can test it. So he said. Then we have another picture. It says, but Professor Martino Taylor says that it wasn't just a harmless compound. Radioactive particles were also sprayed on the unwitting public. A woman refills the spray canisters in this article archive picture. So this is a devil woman. They always a part of it too. She filling up the canisters for them. Because most time when we see the white woman, we don't think she the devil too. And she a snake. But she a snake just like the white man. So we see that the white man being a snake, he strikes the black man when the black man is not even uh, realizing that he's going to strike him. Because he's a snake. But we have with the message. Because the black man is going to rise regardless to whether what the white man does. All oh, praise is due to Allah. And what we don't understand is, is that the white man been fighting against the black man since his beginning. Yes. It's always been a war between the white and the black man. Mm -hmm. The messenger says, and this comes from the resurrection of our people in the, in the message to the black man. 
The messenger says the old world must be removed to make way for the new world. There is a universal struggle being waged by the old world against the beginning of the new world. Will the old world's opposition pre pre prevent the, the establishment of the new world? According to recorded history, the efforts being made by the old world against the beginning of a new world will fail, as did former, former opponents of Allah. So the white man has always opposed the establishment of the new world. And it's a universal war. Yes, sir. This is a universal war to establish a universal government. Mm -hmm. It's not just something that's happening in America. This is a universal war. Mm -hmm. So when you see this uh, coronavirus, it's all over the world. Yeah. Because the white man is trying to fight against the establishment of the new world. Yes, sir. Then the messenger goes on. He says, the wicked believe they are mightier than Allah. And they make a supreme effort to thwart the plan and purpose of Allah to bring about a better world. They always love to attack the messenger to try to condemn him as a liar. Because the messenger didn't just teach us that the white man was opposed to this new world. Black people are opposed to it too. That's right. Black people fight against this new world because we don't want to accept Islam. Mm -hmm. We want it to be what we want it to be. Yes, sir. So we fight against Islam because we don't want to accept the rules and the regulations yes, of Islam. Right. He says trying to prove the messenger a liar means calling a lie a lie. The Holy Quran repeatedly prophesies a miserable, shameful, and disgraceful defeat of the disbelievers and hypocrites in their campaign against the last messenger of Allah, whom Allah would raise in the time of the resurrection of the dead. Messengers are never sent. They are always raised in the midst of those whom Allah would warn so that they cannot claim that they did not understand the language of the messenger or say that he was a foreigner or a stranger. The messenger is one of them. For nearly 34 years I have served you, just as Allah warns of old served the hard-hearted and hard-headed disbelieving people who were great lovers of the enemies of Allah and the true religion Islam, which means entire submission to the will of Allah. Yes, sir, that's right. So the messenger is raised by Allah, not sent. So that's why we don't have no excuse. That's right. No excuse to act like he was a foreign. That's right. To act like we don't understand. Yes, because the thing about black people is they always, nowadays, they like to say that Islam was forced on us. They like to say that about Islam. Islam was forced on the black man in Africa. These Afrocentrics and all the rest of these people. Islam was, if Islam was forced on us, then that would be an excuse that them Africans can use. Right. Say, well, hey, Islam was forced on us. We don't accept Islam because it was forced on us. But the Holy Quran says, all nations, we give all nations acts of devotion. Yes, sir. Right. All nations. Yeah. So all nations, the, the Holy Quran recognizes different. That's why we as Muslims in the nation of Islam, we wear FOI uniforms. Yeah. Sisters got MGT garments. Yes. Different from the Orthodox Muslims. We got our own acts of devotion. Right. All praise due to Allah. And those Orthodox Muslims can't tell us that we wrong. Right. Because there are no two countries in the Muslim world that practice Islam the same. Yes, no two countries. They don't practice Islam the same in Egypt as they do in Iran. Mm -hmm. They don't practice Islam the same in Iraq as they do in Mecca. Mm -hmm. It's different. Mm -hmm. They got different beliefs and all of that. But when you go to the Hajj, they can't tell them they wrong. They can't say, you're not a Muslim. When the messenger went to Mecca, they didn't tell him, you're not a Muslim because you believe that God came in the person. We got our acts of devotion. Right. They can't tell us we wrong. All they're going to ask you, do you believe in it? Ah, Muhammad is his messenger. Yeah, are you a Muslim? Yeah. That's all they're going to say. They all praise it due to Allah. Because every country got its own acts of devotion. Yeah, that's right. Own acts of devotion. Now let's look at the message, because we always like to look at the history. This comes from the New York age, and this was uh, uh, 
Saturday, May 4th, 1957. It says Harlem was awakened to the fact that there are a growing body of young men and women who have been converted to the Muslim faith. It says there always have been followers of the Muslim faith in Harlem as far back as this writer can remember. But, there were, but they were quiet and made no attempt to convert others. So once again, even among the Muslims, nobody made an effort to convert black people to Islam. Nobody. All of this stuff about true Islam and all that came after the message. Yes, sir. After the messenger started challenging the Orthodox Muslim world, telling them that we are the new rulers of Islam. Right. Then they started hating on the messenger. Right. Then they started seeking out black people to bring them into Islam to the Sunni stuff, talking about true Islam. But there is no such thing as true Islam because if there was, why did they not try to convert us before the message? They always been here. It's documented. They was always here, but they never tried to convert black people to their religion. So then we had a messenger spreading Islam. This is an article of this brother in Huntsville, Alabama. And this is in 1959. This brother name is Brother Chester. He was writing articles in the Huntsville Mirror talking about who is the devil. Is he a man or a spirit? Brother Chester, spread Islam. The messenger was all over the country. I just recently found, like, in Huntsville, Alabama. Could you imagine that? Being a Muslim in 1959 and you got to write an article in the, in the Huntsville mirror talking about, is the devil, who is the devil? Is he a man or a spirit? Brother Chester said, he quoted John 8 and 44. Then he goes on to say, Jesus was an original Asiatic black man. Revelations 1, 14 and 15. Feet like fine brass, hair like wool, eyes like a flame of fire. Song of Solomon, 1 through 4, I am black. Solomon's father was David. David's father was Jesse. Jesus said, I am the seed of David and the root of Jesse. Then Jesse was a black man. The pale-skinned, blue-eyed man with long, stringy, beast-like hair that you are wearing around your necks, decorating your mantles, is not the real Jesus of 2,000 years ago, but only the, stat only the statue of your white Christian slave master, the same one that brought your foreparents enslaved. Then he goes on to say, Jews and Gentiles are devils. There is none righteous, no, not one. There is none that seeketh God. This is Brother Jesse. Yes, sir. 1959, spreading Islam to the black man. Yes, All praise is due to Allah. This is the documented facts about the message. Mm -hmm. Spreading Islam, letting us know we are the stone that the builders have rejected. Yes, letting us know it's the black man, it's not the air. Right. Because the messenger said that the world of Islam was ruled by the white man. But the new world of Islam will be ruled by the black man. Yes, That's what the messenger said. Yes, so then you got another article of Brother Jesse. And his article is titled, Protection of Our Women is Imperative. Then at the top of his article, it says, The views and opinions expressed by the columnists on this page or in this newspaper do not necessarily in any way express the opinions and views of this newspaper but our expressed opinions and views of the writer or writer's own. So this brother Jesse, back in 1959, the messenger had a brother in Alabama representing Islam. Yes, so we have on record that the messenger was the only one who established Islam in America. Yes, the messenger was raised by Allah for us. He was not sent. He was no man who came from Mecca. He was raised among the black man. Just like the Holy Quran says, a messenger is always raised. Yes, so the people won't have an excuse to say they don't understand the message. Right. He's comes from, he's one of you. Yes, so we can go to, this comes from the theology of time. I am the light of your Bible. I am your Muhammad of your Holy Quran. 
Not the Muhammad that was here near 1400 years ago. I am the one that the Holy One is referring to. The Muhammad that was here 1400 years ago was a white man. Then they put up a sign of the real Muhammad. They in Mecca, Arabia, they call it the little black stone. I looked at it. I made seven sex around it. I kissed the little black stone, but I didn't like to kiss it because I knew what it meant. It means that the people will bow up to the real black man that is coming up out of uneducated people who have not the knowledge of the Bible and Holy Quran and that's why they made that stone an undue stone. He will be uneducated. So I was there kissing the sign of myself, and I was afraid to tell him that this me you are talking about here. So, what you have been told, it was told for you to understand. It was not given to you to understand before that time. This is the time that you must know the secret of all truth that has been put in symbolic manner. Now today, the veil must be lifted, and you understand. If you believe that I am he, then you are a very lucky man, all right. All praise is due to Allah. So the messenger taught us that now is the time that all of the secrets to all of the truths must be unveiled. It must be made known. These truths was always in our face, but we never knew what it meant. But the messenger said, now is the time for us to know the secrets to these truths. So we can go to Matthew 20, 21, 42 through 44. And this is Jesus. This is something that always been in our face while we was in the church. It says, Jesus said unto them, Did ye never read in the scriptures the stone which the builders rejected? The same has become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Therefore say I unto you, The kingdom of God shall be taken from you and given to a nation bringing forth the fruits thereof. And whosoever shall fall on this stone shall be broken. But on whosoever it shall fall, it will grind him to powder. So this was a written in symbolic language all the time. Yes. And every time we heard this, we thought it was talking about the Jews. Yes. But this is Jesus telling the Jews that the nation or the kingdom will be taken from you right. and given to another people. Because them Jews is the Jews, the Hebrews, and the Israelites is the white man. That's right. Jesus was not among them or not of them. He was different from them. Jesus was sent to the white race. He was a prophet who was sent. He wasn't raised up among them. They was different from Jesus. They was the devil. And that's what Jesus made clear in John 8 and 44. The white race is a race of death. So Jesus was telling them, and this is why they hated Jesus. Jesus was telling them that the, the kingdom is going to be taken away from you Hebrews. 
The kingdom is going to be taken away from you Israelites. The kingdom is going to be taken away from you Jews. The kingdom is going to be taken away from the white race and given to another people. Oh, praise is due to Allah. But it wasn't time for Jesus to come straight up and tell him. So he had to put it in symbolic language. And he said the stone that the builders rejected. And he told them, have you not read? Because this was prophesied before. It also says in Psalms, Psalm 118, it says the stone which the builders refused is become the headstone of the corner. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. It says this is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. That used to be a song we used to sing yeah. at church. Yeah. And when I read, I'm like, wow, all these years we used to sing that song and I ain't know what it meant. But this song is saying that this is the day that the Lord has made. Yeah. Uh, this is the day when Master Farah Muhammad comes. Yeah. And raises up a messenger for us. Yeah. And lets us know that we are the stone that the builders rejected. Oh, praise is due to Allah. Because this is the day that the Lord has made. Yes, Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Right. That's what we're talking about. Yes, we are the ones who are the owners of the king. Yes, and this is what Jesus was always saying. And it was always in our face. Because you even have in, and this is showed you about the white man. Because you have in Psalms 84 in the NIV verse. It says, blessed are those whose strength is in you, whose hearts are set on pilgrimage. As they pass through the valley of Becca, they make it a place of spirits. And the autumn rain also cover it with pools. Now it's talking about a pilgrimage. But when you look at the King James Version, it don't say pilgrimage. The King James Version just say, Blessed is the man whose strength is in thee, and whose heart are, are the ways of them, who pass through the valley of Becca, make it a well, the rain also fill the pools. But in 84 Psalms and the NIV, it's talking about people making a pilgrimage. Yes. And it's also talking about the stone that the builders rejected. Yes, sir. Because the white man, the messenger says, the Bible is a commercialized book. Anybody can translate the Bible. Anybody can come out with a version. So the King James devils didn't want to talk about the pilgrims. They want to conceal that part. So they didn't say pilgrims. But the NIV devils say, well, let's let them know that it's talking about a pilgrimage. So they decide to translate it and say pilgrimage. Pilgrimage to Becca. What's Becca? In the Holy Quran, chapter 3, it says, Certainly, the first house appointed for men is the one at Becca. Blessed and guidance for the nations. And when you read in the footnotes, it says Becca is the same as Mecca. Yeah. So it was in our face all the time. Right. It's in our face that the black man is the chosen of God. Right. It's in our face that we're supposed to make pilgrimages to Mecca. In our face all the time. But the white man wrote the Bible in such a way that he made the truth hard to understand. We always thought that it was talking about the Jews. We never thought that it was talking about the black man. Then it goes on even further. It says, in it are clear signs. The place of Abraham. And whoever enters it is safe. And pilgrimage to the house is a duty which men owe to Allah. Whoever can find a way to it, and whoever disbelieves, surely Allah is above needs of the world. So it always was telling us about this sacred house. Because the sacred house is what's put in the symbolic language. Because the sacred house is where the Kaaba stone is. This where all Muslims Make they pilgrimages to go to this sacred house. Who would have thought that meant us? Who would have thought they making seven circuits around the Kaaba, meaning the 7,000 years? Yes, sir. Oh, praise the due to Allah. Not only do they come, because when you look at the Kaaba, 
and you look at the cobblestone, it's a cornerstone. Yes. Just like Jesus said, it become the headstone in the corner. Yes. All of it makes sense when the messenger break it down. Right. That's why Allah raises up a messenger from among the people. Yes. So they can't have an excuse. Right. You can't say that some foreigner can't. Right. You can't say that the Arabs forced it on us. Because when you read the Holy Quran, when it talks about, uh, it also says in the Holy Quran, it talks about that you shouldn't take for intimate friends those who are not of your people. Right. You shouldn't take intimate friends of people who are not your people. Because right. it say their hearts is to destroy you. Right. So you shouldn't take them for friends. Mm -hmm. Now when you read that uh, verse, it's in general. Because the Holy Quran are not written like the Bible. They write genealogy in the Bible to let you know we only talking about the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. So they got different genealogies. They only talking about Israel. But when you read the Holy Quran, everything is in general. Yes. Oh, you who believe. Right. It could be talking about a specific situation of the Arabs. Mm -hmm. But it say, oh, you who believe. Mm -hmm. So any Muslim, a black Muslim in 2010 can apply that verse to them. Mm -hmm. Because it's not talking about nobody specifically. It's in general. And that's why the messenger. He used to challenge them Arab Muslims when the Holy Quran says for to warn the people who no warner came before. Right. Then the Arabs that had warns. Yes. Abraham came to Mecca. Yes. Ishmael came to Mecca. Mm -hmm. So how can you say that the Holy Quran is talking about you? Right. That's how the messenger taught us that I am yes. Elijah of the Bible and the Muhammad of the Holy Quran. Right. It's talking about the black man. Right. We are those people to know Warner has come before. Right. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that all this means the black man? Right. Oh, praise is due to Allah. Who would have thought we so special to God? Yes. Thousands of years in the, in the making. Yes, sir. We wait for this day. Right. This is the day that the Lord has made. Right. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Thousands of years. Yes, all Muslims going to Mecca to worship or to praise us. Right. To see us as the top dog. Right. To have them Arabs come down. Yes. And that's why they don't like the message. That's, right. that's why they talk all this true Islam talk. When it ain't no such thing as true Islam. Mm -hmm. Because if they was practicing Islam, they would still be in their country. That's right. It says you are not supposed to take as intimate friends those who are not of your people. Right. So why are you here? Right. Why are you here? But if you coming from a Muslim country. You coming from a country that prohibits harm. Right. But you come to a country that's full of harm. Right. How you a Muslim? Yes, How you spreading Islam among the infidels? Yes, it says, take not the Jews nor the Christians for friends. That's, right. that's what the Holy Quran says plain. Right. But they tell, look at the messenger like he wrong for telling us that the white man is the devil. Right. Yes, the Holy Quran is broken up into chapters. Yes, sir. You got a whole chapter talking about the white man in the cave. That's right. You got a whole chapter talking about the white man worshiping the cow. That's right. You got a whole chapter talking about the Israelites. Mm -hmm. You got a whole chapter talking about the jinn. Right. How the messenger wrong for telling us that the white man is the devil? Praise right. due to Allah. Right. The messenger taught us true Islam. That's right. And you would be a fool as a black man to reject the messenger. That's right. Because look at all the work that the messenger did. The messenger in Savior's Day 1974 said, I done taught you everything you need to know to go for yourself as a nation of people. What more can a man do to show you that God chose us? To show us that God raised the messenger for us to take a deaf, dumb, and blind black people and tell you, not only did I teach you, I done showed you I done gave you everything you need to go for yourself as a nation of people. So what else, if you don't believe the message, what makes you believe something else? If these brothers who was with the messenger didn't believe the message, what makes you believe Wallace? What makes you believe Silas? What makes you believe Lewis? If the messenger could do all that, and you don't believe him, you don't believe none of them. That's right. You're just a hypocrite. Yeah, yeah. Oh, praise is due to Allah. If you don't accept the messenger and you are Orthodox Muslim, you are a hypocrite too. That's right. 
What makes you believe in Prophet Muhammad? What did Prophet Muhammad do for his people that the messenger didn't do for us? That's right. And if you believe that a 1400 years ago and you can see him as a messenger, how you can't see the messenger as a messenger and he was among you? Yes. Right. That's why the messenger said a messenger is always raised right. from among the people. That's right. So you won't have no excuse. That's right. You can't use that excuse. Yes, talking that Prophet Muhammad talk. Right. The messenger was raised among you. Right. You know how deaf, dumb, and blind you are. Yes. You know how much you need a savior, and you can see all his work, and you don't accept that. Hell fire is for you. Right. Because the messenger didn't just teach us that it would be black people or white people who will be against Islam. It will also be black people. Because we got all of these groups, and we like to use these Israelites as an example. Because they got video after video mud watching the messenger. And the messenger said, if you won't defend me when I'm tongue lashed, right. how will you defend me if I'm cut and shot at? Right. So I feel like it's my duty right. to say something for the messenger. That's right. Oh, praise the due to Allah. Right. These brothers got this brother that says, the prophets put Islam in a body bag. Talking about the message. These brothers out here calling themselves Israelites. When the messenger that told us you the stone that the builders have rejected. Yes, sir. That's right. The Israelites is the white man. Right. The Israelites is a blue eyed devil. Right. So this brother, he got this brother up here telling him that Islam was forced on us. And that we truly Israelites. When the messenger that already told us that it's all talking about you. He even showed us in the Bible. Yes. He showed us where Jesus told the Israelites that the kingdom will be taken away from you. He made that plain. Right. But these brothers still don't accept the messenger. So the messenger said that Allah prophesied in the Holy Quran a miserable, disgraceful chastisement for all those who try to prove the messenger wrong. Because he said to prove the messenger wrong mean you trying to prove Allah wrong. That's right. So this brother got this book. And this book is called From Babylon to Timbuktu. And it's this book right here. From Babylon to Timbuktu. And this book, this brother who wrote the book, his name is Rudolf Wentz. Because it's always good to look at the history of these people. What was Rudolph Windsor doing in the 70s when the messenger was alive? This is a picture of Rudolph Windsor in 1970. Rudolph Windsor was having, wanting to have unity with white uh, Jews. Showing you how these people during the time of the messenger is documented that the messenger was the only one going out to get the black man. Right, right. The Jews wasn't getting the black man, the Muslims wasn't getting the black man, and the Christians wasn't getting the black man. But now, since the messenger is no longer among us, all of these black groups try to use the messenger's teachings for their own gain. That's right. So they add his teachings into their teachings. Because they're not talking about Jesus as a black man. They're not talking about black people are chosen. But the messenger is the one who initially told us that the black man is the chosen people of God. That's right. Because when this brother, Rudolph Windsor, was in Philly, Brother Jeremiah was in Philly. We got records of that. Brother Jeremiah and them brothers in Philly was selling 104 Muhammad Speaks newspapers a week. Showing you how the messenger was out in Philly teaching the black man that he's the chosen people of God. Yes, sir. 104,000. Muhammad speaks newspapers a week. These people was getting the messengers teachers. That's right. 104,000. Yes, so we supposed to believe that this brother wasn't reading the Muhammad speaks newspaper. Yeah, yeah. We supposed to believe in his book. He just can't. He want to have unity with white Muslims and uh, white Jews in 1970. Mm -hmm. So we supposed to believe he didn't read the Muhammad speaks newspaper that the messenger said we the chosen people of God. We supposed to believe that. We supposed to look at his book. Because when you look in his book, his book was revised like 10 or 15 times. 
These all the people got it from the messenger. Right, that's right. So the messenger taught us that all those who try to uh, make prove the messenger wrong will have a disgraceful chastisement from Allah. Because none of us have an excuse to reject the messenger. That's right. The messenger was raised from among us. Yes, Allah guided him for 44 years. Yes, 44 years he showed us by raising us up. Because that's how Allah proves his word. Yes, by raising the dead. But that's what the resurrection means. Yes, to raise the dead. Right. Yes. These symbols was in the Holy Quran and in the Bible. And we didn't know what they meant. Yes, we thought to raise the dead means to raise a dead person from the grave. Right. But to raise the dead means raising a mental dead person. Yes, so when Allah came with Islam and raised the mental dead nation... That's him showing you the resurrection. Yes, sir. All praise due to Allah. We living in the resurrection. Yes. Every day is the resurrection. Yes. Every moment is the resurrection. So we have, we have this brother who his name is Brother uh, Rabbi Rudolph Windsor. We got another example showing you how these brothers was not going out to get the black man. It says, despite the fact that there have been a few voluntary conversions to Judaism among the colored Christians, the black Jews do not go out looking for converts, says the rabbi. A Jew is a Jew if he is born Jewish. Another example of how the messenger was the one who got the black man and raised the dead. Yes. This is the recorded history of the messenger that we can use to defend him. To show the world that you had a messenger. That's right. Islam is your religion. Yes, sir. Islam is the new world that the Allah is bringing in. Right. It's not going to be a world of Christianity. It's not going to be a world of Hebrewism. World of Islam. Yes, sir. The world of Islam is the world that the white man has been fighting for 6,000 years. Yes. He ain't been fighting no world of Christianity. Right. He brought the world of Christianity in. He wasn't fighting the world of Judaism. He brought the world of Judaism in. Yes, but the world of Islam is the world that the white man is fighting. Yes. Yes, sir. Well, brothers and sisters, we don't want to prolong the time. So I'll leave you as I came in the nation of Islam, greeting words of peace of as alaykum. Yes, Enjoying the show? Help keep us on the air. 313-371-7033. That's 313-371-7033. To make a donation. Brother Sister Barras, prayer. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent and Merciful. All praises due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, the Beneficent and Merciful. So, Master's Day of Judgment in which we now live, the alone do we serve and the alone seek for thine help and aid. O oh Allah, please guide us on the right path, path of those upon whom thou hast bestow thy favors. Not on the path of those upon whom thy wrath is brought down, nor those who go astray have they heard thy teachings. Say he Allah is one God. Allah is he of whom nothing is independent, but upon whom we all depend. He beget us not, nor is he begotten, there is none like him. And I bear witness that none is to be served, worship the praise besides Allah, who came in the person of Master Farah Muhammad. And I bear witness that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is thy true servant and last apostle. I mean. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us not to do anything to anyone. They wouldn't have done it to ourselves and treat everybody right, even the devil. Assalamu alaikum.